In order for all this to kind of gel, you have this screen of American volunteers yes. out there getting butchered on the San Antonio River. Yes. All right, a friend of ours, Dr. Richard Bruce Winders, yes. the curator at the Alamo, yes, wrote indeed. an interesting little book called Excellent Sacrificed book. at the Alamo. Excellent book. In which he argues that those garrisons were sacrificed on the altar of democracy. Agree or disagree? Or the democratic process, shall we say? Well, I would say they were, alt uh, they were sacrificed on the altar of dissension and discord. Which is a characteristic of, of, <laughs> of, of, of democracy. Of democracy. Uh, the, the fact of the matter, and people again, why didn't, according to plan, the rest of Texas siphon down to those vital choke points when, when the, the Mexicans arrived? Yeah. Because the government that could have and should have organized those relief efforts had fallen apart in a snit fit. Wow. By the time a new government formed, remember that government, uh, they met at Washington on the Brazos March 1st, Declaration of Independence March 6th, the, or, or, or March 2nd. Yeah. The Alamo fell on March 6th. Yeah. So by the time they got their act together at Washington on the Brazos. Uh, the people at the Alamo, and I would argue that the people at Go uh, Goliad were allowed to fall through the cracks. Wow. Yeah. Just kind of forgot about them, and we're going on to face Well, they didn't, they didn't forget about them because they're at Washington. It's a very poignant episode because all these delegates are, are up there in this little ramshackle wood, yeah. no windows yeah, building. Yeah, it's like a pole barn almost. Yeah, well, it does. Yeah. But they're getting letters. They're getting Travis's letters. So they know something's going on. They down. know the Alamo okay. is, is besieged. They are just in no position to do anything about it. Well, one of the delegates, uh, a, a Goodrich, has a, he, he's a delegate at Washington, uh, and, and his brother is an Alamo defender. Oh, wow. And when, when they finally get news that the Alamo has defended, I mean, it's personal it's for him. Yeah, yeah. And, and most everybody... Every delegate at Washington knew someone at the Alamo personally. Now, Sam Houston was at Washington on the Brazos. He was. So he's, he's over his fit of peak. Yes. And now he's decided that well, he's, he's going there, to Well, he's there as a delegate. Okay. But he's also there because he knows that's where the political action is. Yep. And if he uh, wants to be, and he desperately wants to be general, he needs to be where that decision is made so he can influence that decision. And they make him general. On March 4th. On March 4th. <laughs> and, and, and this is the irony. On the evening, on the evening of March 6th, he mounts his horse in Washington and leaves making the promise of, of if any mortal power can avail, I will relieve the Alamo garrison, which had fallen that morning. That morning. Yeah. But he doesn't know that. Nobody in Washington knows that and won't until much, much later. Well, they're going to get a chance coming up to face Santa Ana as he marches across Texas. That's true.